Well, welcome back everybody to the Youth One Now channel. Uh, this is your one-stop shop to access anytime, anywhere to help you reach your full potential. Uh, we want to welcome back Carlo from MNP. He's the HR manager there from MNP. Uh, we had him here about two weeks ago talking about uh, how to write a better resume and it was awesome. If you haven't watched the video, uh, we would encourage you to go check it out. It's really just about giving you um, some really good hacks to improve your resume writing, especially if you've never written a resume or if you have, uh, everybody can learn from it um, just to improve uh, your chances of getting a job. So today, this is really exciting, um, is we're gonna be talking about how to improve your interview game, how to become an interview ninja. So when you walk in that room, you're noticed and they wanna hire you once you leave that room. And so Carlo, welcome back again. Uh, Thank you. We're going to be going through. Carlo uh, is an expert in this area, um, HR manager. Uh, we went through it the last video. If you don't know what that is, and so Carlo, when we're talking about interviews, um, we're going to be talking about the three most important things. What's what's the number one thing that you look for uh, when it comes to interviewing somebody? Um, well, one of the, one of the tips I would give though is if you're if you get an interview, um, one thing you could do is prepare for the interview. The evening before right um, so maybe think about some questions that you think that interviewer might ask yeah um, a lot of times you know I've been through you know behavioral type interviews or um, just just normal interviews um, and lots of times they're asking the same kind of question when it comes to strengths weaknesses right so maybe if you have some of those already in mind you have a better way of of responding to that yeah, if yeah. you're prepared a little bit mm. um, you don't want to come off canned because you don't want to come off fake right but definitely you want to have um, an idea of what you're gonna say mm. and so you're maybe you're less nervous too when you're in the interview because you're a little bit more prepared how good is like how important is a good sleep before well, that'd be great too yeah you yeah. should have a good sleep before right you want to make sure you're not looking tired when you come in you want to right yeah, you yeah your hair is sure. done up a little bit better. that's right and... <laughs> that's right yeah yeah, that's and that's, good. that actually leads into my second yeah, tip, let's do it. which yep. is dress the part. Mm. Um, you want to make sure um, you're making a good first impression. You yeah. only have one time to make your first impression, and so you want it to be a good one. Mm. So you want to make sure you're dressed professionally, or at least you're clean and showered, yeah. and all of those things. You want to make sure you're you you look the part, I right? Guess. And 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 to that too, you want to make sure that when you're meeting the interviewer, yeah. that you're giving a firm handshake. Mm. At least that's something I, I like. Right? Yeah. There's yeah. nothing worse than when you're going in for a handshake and it's a very limp handshake. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't create the greatest huh. vibe for me anyway. Very interesting. So you're not coming in and you're giving them high five or <laughs> right, right. big, big old no, hug. No or, fist pump. Nothing no like fist that. pump. Yeah. Good firm handshake. That's good. And that's such a small thing like mm -hmm. that we could all do, right? Let's move on to our next one. Okay. Um, and then our my last um, point, we talked about preparing for the interview, dressing yeah. the part. And then the last bit would be make good eye contact when you're mm. actually in the interview. Right. Um, if no blinking, no, <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> right. You definitely want, you definitely want to make good eye contact. That's for sure. But yes. uh, if there's a panel interview, um, make sure that you're making eye contact with everyone that's mm. on that panel as well. Yeah. Cause you don't want to come off like you're just talking to that one person right. as well. Yeah. I, I'm just imagining my head like hosting an interview, asking questions and somebody's got their head down like this the mm -hmm. whole time. Yeah, and, and really not engaging the people that are doing the interviewing. And especially if you're applying for, whether it's an accounting firm or whether it's um, McDonald's or A and W, yeah. you're going to be dealing with the public, right? Yes. So if you're looking down, yeah, uh, like that's going to be the wrong impression. Like, how are you going to look at clients then, or how are you going right. to look at customers? Oh yeah. Right. If, yeah. If you're looking down, that that does not give a good. That's true. Impression. Because really good customer experience, like you're going to uh, want to look in their eyes absolutely. too, like you care about them and stuff. So, right. Wow. Right. I never would have thought of that. Mm -hmm. That's so good. My pro tip would yes. be make sure that you're actually researching the company, researching the company. Right. Prior to going to the interview. Yeah. Um, like you could look up their values. You could look up their community involvement. You could look up what they, what their services are, whatever it is. Yeah. It, if you actually research them and you prepare some questions, yeah, um, you look more prepared and you look like you're very interested in the job. Yeah. So make sure you're writing those questions down, and at the end of the interview, you're asking those questions to the interviewer. That's a huge one. Absolutely, and they may, even if you don't prepare questions, they may even ask you that question: What do you right. know about us? Right? Yeah. And so that just shows you've done your homework. And you know what, I was even thinking about this too, because that's such a great point. If you're researching 
and you have a question about them, how good that actually looks like. Absolutely. If, if you're stumped and you're like, I actually don't understand this, what do you guys think? Well, like you're asking the employer that, um, that actually looks good because it even shows your preparation and that you care about the company to where you want to understand who they are. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's I definitely so take that as a, a very positive yes. sign when I'm interviewing. And how easy is it to learn about a company these right. days? You, Unless they're very unclear on their website, right? Absolutely. Hop on the internet. Yeah. yeah. Go to their website. Yeah. yeah. We hope your interviews go well. We hope you get an interview. And just remember, uh, we're going we're gonna to provide a PDF uh, in the bio below. It's a checklist. So you can go through how to, how to improve your resume. Uh, now it's going to be how to improve your interview game and become an interview ninja. And make sure you get that foot in the door and get ahead of the line and get better chances of getting that job and some cash in your hand for the summer. Thanks again, Carl, right. for coming by. It, it's amazing. No, thanks, Jordan. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Good luck, and, everyone. Yeah, good luck, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got one more video coming up, um, and, and that's going to be in a, in a few weeks here. And uh, the last but not least is, now that we've helped you try to figure out how to get that job, how to write a better resume, and you have the job, how to keep the job, and how to get that raise that you have always wanted because we know that if your boss likes you, they're gonna to wanna to keep you around and they're gonna to wanna to give you a raise so you wanna stay around. So how do you do that? So we're excited to talk about that in the next video series. Remember to subscribe, hit that alert button um, on, the, on the bottom of the video so you get alerts when we post new videos. Thanks so much guys, uh, we'll see you in a week.